Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to the teasers for Tuesday, June 25's episode of The Young and the Restless, Sharon Newman will be giddy with joy having Faith Newman home for a few weeks. Faith will act as though she's almost over her split and refuse sympathy, but Sharon will believe that it's preferable to be open about emotions rather than suppress them. Eventually, Faith will bring up Sharon's past relationship with Nick Newman and ask her whether she regrets that their friendship ended there. Sharon will say that everything worked out as it should have, and that she wouldn't be shocked if Nick and Phyllis Summers reconciled because they've always had a special bond. Faith wishes she could have known her other older sister, Cassie Newman, and Sharon will remember some terrible memories of her. Daniel Romolotti Jr. will brief Heather Stevens and Lucy Romolotti at Society about the agreement he reached with Lily Winters, and they will both nod in agreement. Faith will greet Daniel and hazily recall Heather from her childhood when she arrives in search of some buddies she promised to hang out with. Lucy will greet Faith with a star-struck exclamation. As it happens, Lucy and her companions were informed that Faith had been abducted and was wearing bombs attached to her body. Faith will be questioned by Lucy, but Daniel and Heather will silence her. But Faith won't mind sharing her experience, so she'll arrange to speak with Lucy when they get together. Faith will leave as Sharon arrives, after her friends WhatsApp her with a new address. Sharon will have a brief conversation with Daniel, Heather, and Lucy, but she will decline an invitation to join them and instead accept her order of takeaway. Sharon will get a disturbing flashback from right after Cassie's accident when she's at the pub. At the hospital, Sharon will remember accusing Daniel and needing to be forcibly restrained after making threats against him. Sharon will grab her food and bolt from the restaurant as soon as she returns to reality. Nick will question Phyllis about her job search at Crimson Lights and get concerned about her plan to ask Billy Abbott for a job once things at Chancellor Winters go south. Nick will say that Phyllis is Billy's bother and that she should go where she is truly needed. Phyllis will initially gripe, but she will also accept Nick's care for her and shake hands with him across the table. On Tuesday's Why and Our episode, Sharon will appear uneasy upon seeing Nick and Phyllis sharing a tender moment of affectionate embrace. With Lily moving forward with her plot to fool Billy, Devin Hamilton Winters and Nate Hastings at Chancellor Winters will presume it's showtime. Billy and Lily will discuss their solution and the unsolvable dilemma when they get back to the office. Veronica Red's character Mamie Johnson will enter and try to join this conversation, but Devin will eventually kick her out. Mamie will add that Tucker McCall had Blissade torn out from under him before she leaves. Mamie would act as though Devin has some responsibility for his strained relationship with Tucker, even though Tucker sincerely wished to mend his son's bond. When the meeting resumes, Devin will become agitated due to Lily's declaration that she will be joining Chancellor's team following the merger's undoing. Devon will act as though Billy is only using Lily to achieve his goals and wonder why Billy needs her. Lily will realize that nobody is putting pressure on her and will stick to her gut feeling that doing this is the right thing to do. Billy will be inclined to arrange a video conference with Abby Newman for a board vote. However, he will compromise if Lily convinces him to give this some time to settle. When Billy leaves, Lily will confront Devon and ask him what he was doing to which Devon would respond that he was pitching their scheme. Lily will perceive it as more of a sabotage attempt by Devon. We'll bring you more predictions on all the corporate animosity because spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that there is more drama involving Winters and the Chancellor. Here are the spoilers for Tuesday, June 25, 2024's episode of The Young and the Restless. It's expected that fans will recall Sharon Newman Rosales's background. Watching out for Phyllis Summers is Nick Newman. In addition, Billy Abbott and Devin Hamilton fight for supremacy at Chancellor Winters. Discover what will happen in the upcoming episode of the CBS soap opera by continuing to read. 
The Past of Sharon Newman Rosales. Tuesday, June 25 I and R spoilers indicate that Sharon will reflect on the past. Sharon is currently getting used to a new bipolar medication. That might result in Sharon contacting Nick later this week to ask for help. Could Sharon's reflections on her past encompass the chapters she spent with Nick? Y and R spoilers. Saving Mick Newman. In a recent special episode of Nick, Morrow celebrated his 30 years of portraying the character. The past of Nick and Sharon was discussed extensively in the episode. Some fans began to speculate that Nick and Sharon would get back together in the future. Sharon's flashback sequences might support that viewpoint. The War of Devon Hamilton and Billy Abbott Tuesday, June 25 teasers for the young and the restless indicate that Devon and Billy will fight for authority at Chancellor Winters. Devon is going to challenge Lily Winters' choices as well. How will this business and family feud resolve, with Lily and Billy holding a significant secret regarding Jill Abbott? Buy in our spoilers for June 25, 2024, Tuesday. Fans may be able to witness Victor Newman's next move against Jack Abbott on Tuesday, June 25. Victor is assaulting from all angles rather than just one. In the narrative, Victor also makes advantage of Jack's own family members. What occurs next when Jack at last understands what is happening? Can Javit be saved before it's too late? Additionally, it's hinted that Nick watches out for Phyllis. Phyllis hasn't had a much of a plot in recent times. So perhaps Nick foils an attempt to harm Phyllis. Perhaps Victor tries to enlist Phyllis in his Jack Reese, but Nick spies on him. Will there be another rekindled love triangle if Nick shields Phyllis from anything and Sharon is dwelling on the past? On Tuesday, June 25, 2024, which plot are you most anticipating seeing? It's been a terrible week for young and restless. The two recurring themes of business-slash-employment and mental health are still fundamental to the dwindling current narratives. Every time it looks like the tale is finally picking up steam, it falters or ends. Positively, it was a pleasant aversion from the usual as we concluded the week with a sentimental look back at Nick and Sharon's highs and lows as a pair. However, the teasers for next week immediately put us back into the gloom. Ideas Tucker Irritable Tucker staged a heart attack as a desperate attempt to stop Audra from taking control of the situation, and maybe to let her know how much she still feels for him. Unfortunately for him, Audra recognized the charade for what it was, so she dropped by his hotel suite and essentially told him to die with more force. Finally, McCall just gave up and handed Blissade to her. The entire situation may be interpreted as a parable about Tucker's most recent stay in Genoa City, which is, as of late, coming to an end. This time around, the troublemaker and manipulator, who had such a famous reputation, proved to be all bark and no bite because of his mediocre work, which lacked any substance or payoffs. It may be deemed a soap crime to misuse a talent such as Trevor Street John, who would have chemistry with a doorpost. Everything regarding Ashley. We've spent months following Ashley and her transformations, but now that she's finally revealing the specifics of what led to her mental health problems, she's been completely removed from the picture as other characters bemoan her hardships. I'm hoping she'll have some kind of dramatic epiphany while she's in the clinic. Other than the fact that it wasn't a romantic reunion with Tucker, another payoff we couldn't afford, I'm not sure what the whole thing was worth. Lose in business. If Lily is truly a liar who has to be pushed down a peg, then the idea that she is betraying Billy is at least mildly intriguing. However, there really isn't much of an influence to be had after years of mundane company transfers. All that will happen is that someone will have to shift jobs once more. Who gives a damn these days? Especially after Lily and Daniel made amends rather than putting on a thrilling court battle, which was yet another disappointment. Not that we were all that interested in Princess Luisa, but these days we're sucking at anything that has some actual tension based in the past of the characters. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.